Hi, my name is Mike Bossom. I'm currently serving as the commander of Expedition 29 on board the International Space Station. My crewmates are Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, Russian cosmonauts Sergei Volkov, Anton Skoplarov, and Anatoly Ivanishin, as well as American astronaut Dan Burbank. Today is an important day in the story of the International Space Station. We are the 29th crew to call this marvelous vessel home, and we've made the best of every minute of it. However, our time grows short. Although Expedition 29 does not officially end until we undock from the station tomorrow, we have a change of command ceremony today so Sergei Satoshi and I may concentrate on our preparations for departure. Dan, she'll be your ship in a few minutes. First, I'd like to say a few more words. Expedition 29 has been a very interesting time. We were here to be part of the historic last space shuttle mission. It was then our task to transition from a focus on assembly operations to full scientific utilization. With the loss of the Progress cargo ship and the delay in launches, we spent all but the last few days of Expedition 29 as a three-person crew, yet we achieved every science goal that was set before us. We are the fortunate ones living in space with the great view. In truth, we merely serve as the hands and eyes for a huge team with the real brains, the passion, persistence, and patience. We did work hard, but our success is really a tribute to the mission teams on the ground who developed the plans to make it all happen. I think of it as a pyramid with only a few at the point, but they couldn't stand there without the rock-solid foundation which reaches far below. There are too many individuals to mention by name, but I have to say a, few, a special thank you to our lead flight director in Houston, Royce Renfrew. He has been the unflappable quarterback calling the perfect plays while we scramble to run our patterns so we won't let the team down. Finally, I'd like to say a few words about our patch. The image we chose was the International Space Station following the path of the historic 18th century explorer Captain James Cook and his ship Endeavour. During Cook's three main voyages, he explored and mapped a major portion of the oceans and coastlines under the flight path of the ISS, adding immeasurably to the body of knowledge of that time. As the ISS sails the Stardust Trail, following the spirit of Endeavour sailing towards the dark unknown and new discoveries, it enlightens the Earth below. The quest for new discoveries has been a significant element of the human character through the centuries, inspiring us to endure hardships and the separation of a mission that is greater than the individual. The crew of Expedition 29 is proud to continue the journey in the, this greatest of all human endeavors. Throughout history, the change of command for a sailing ship has been a formal occasion, and we continue that tradition today. We are proud to have served and we are humbled by the outstanding professionalism and support from teams around the planet in Houston, Moscow, Cologne, Munich, Tsukuba, Montreal, and Huntsville, Alabama, not to mention the science and engineering teams from numerous agencies and universities. Sergei and Satoshi, this was my dream mission, and you guys have been my dream crew. I would launch with you guys on another mission in a heartbeat. Dan, Anton, and Anatoly, you arrived at our door just a few days ago, well prepared and ready to spring into action. You are ready to take over. My only regret here is that we had so little time to spend together, but we've made the best of it, and we're happy to see you continue the continuous human presence on board the International Space Station, which has now surpassed 11 years. There are no words to express our gratitude to our families who have endured much throughout our years of training and this mission. We call home excited about seeing countries at night in a blaze of light with a flicker of aurora on the horizon while they're dealing with kids, homework, and cars which need repairs. The stuff of real life. Honey, I'm coming home. Dan, I am ready to be re relieved. I relieve you, Commander. Thanks, Mike.
I stand relieved. I'd just like to, to say thank you for, uh, for handing us over um, such a magnificent ship. Space Station's in, uh, in perfect condition. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to take the helm. Um, on a, I guess on a personal note, I'd really like to recognize you and Satoshi and Sergey for all the hard work that you've committed to us in the last couple of months. Um, by not having the two months that we expected to have and instead having four months, it was, um, it was a, a, a heavy load for you at the same time that you were operating the entire space station, keeping the science going at about half strength for two months there. And, uh, and especially, I think, all of us really owe a debt of thanks to uh, all the teams on the ground, the folks that prepared us for this mission, the folks that prepared all of the crews, the pre previous crews, and the people in all the control centers around the world that, uh, that watch over space station systems, that fly this vehicle, and uh, that watch over us all the time. So it's really been a whirlwind, but it's been a pleasure. Um, I can't promise that I won't be calling you with questions <laughs> here and there. And, uh, and, uh, and I know you'll be there ready to help us. Anton and I, uh, Anatoly and I look forward to carrying on the proud legacy that the uh, previous crews have, uh, have laid before us. And, um, and I guess on behalf of the three of us, we'd like to wish you, Sergei, Satoshi, fair winds, following seas, and a soft landing a day and a half from now.